I've always sort of liked the night. Quiet. Aside from the occasional scream. Ooh. It's not you, it's me. I can't keep doing this. You bloody listen to me, all right? One fine day, the sea boys come running into the regimental HQ, saying there's an elephant broke loose. This one ain't got loose, and there's my hoop chasing off in exactly the wrong direction. And the elephant runs into the market and starts eating peaches. And the coolie tries to stop him, and the elephant, oh, steps on him something horrible. Mashes him right into the mud, and skin comes off his back like he was peeling a grape. So the sea boys come running up to this general, only then, he was a major, and say, You must come shoot this elephant! So, he takes his hunting rifle, and he goes down to the market. Only now, the elephant isn't in the market anymore. It's in a field eating leaves. It's calm as never mind. So, there's no cause to shoot it anymore. And by now, the moon's come back, and he's screaming and jabbering about, Oh, please don't shoot my elephant. See, he's grown up with that elephant. It's all right. And he don't know how to do any other job except sit on that elephant and tell him to pick up a log and carry it over there. But the elephant takes his life for a man, you see. A coolie, but a man. And the moat's crying and jabbering and cool as a summer breeze. The general shakes around. I am ready for bed. How about you? I will go safely under the covers. You can't go on it. They said I could. Well, of course the Germans said you could go on it. I'm saying you can't. I've never been on a battleship. But that's not the point. We hate the Germans. And that battleship is part of the reason the Germans are our lords and masters right now. Do you remember when they came over in all the little boats? Do you mean in 1942 or in 1943? Do you want people to spit on Mum when she goes to the market? She doesn't go to the market. Since 1945. Oh, look, this is just one of those things. I can't explain every single detail of everything to you. Are you mad at me? G I'm not. You're not? I mean, yes, I am. I am mad. I was mad, but now I'm not. Look, please don't go on the Bismarck. It will get you into trouble, which means I'll then be in trouble. All right. You won't go? 
I couldn't go without you anyway. For once, that's a relief. And all the villages are running to get their knives because it's free me! Now see, oh that's a man. I would have trembled at the thought of shooting at me and just calmly standing there eating leaves. He might have missed off. Some civilian in Burma had to shoot a rogue elephant and he had to practically empty a whole magazine into the poor thing and it was half an hour of a time. But the general makes a tough choice to see. So don't you armchair generals tell me what you would have done. Just follow orders and we'll win the next war. The general promised me, all right? No fucking civilians! I have to kill you now. Christ, I better not let anyone see me out of uniform. Do you ever wonder why the Germans didn't take their tanks with them when they left? I've made a map. There's a hole in the fence, inside the dump. You just have to get in here, get the key, and cut the power. Then, sneak out into the darkness while I rob them blind. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. How do I cut the power? The General keeps the keys in his desk. Do you want me to break into the General's office? Anyway, you can scotch the power is fine by me, lad. I'll meet you back at the train station. What if they spot me? I'd run. They don't have a lot of ammunition, but they're terribly handy with their bayonets. That's your plan B? Run? Well, you could ask them for some of their famous hot buttered crumpets, but I wouldn't recommend it. They can't run very fast. They're all old farts, like me. Let's see that map you made. Oh, only sleeping potion for those chaps on the bridge. Try not to dream about trains. Ollie said there was a hole in the fence in the dump. That sounds much safer than walking in by the front gate.
Arthur. Arthur? You get down from that tree before I chop it down. Do you know why they're registering us? The Germans love their lists, that's all. They're taking us away on a train to Germany. You know about it, don't you? Who told you that? It's ridiculous. Oh, oh, you all know about it, just not the kids. Look, they've got cows there. It's not going to be powdered milk. They might even have chocolate. Oh, chocolate makes it all better. They've got tanks, Arthur. Why haven't you noticed? How are we supposed to argue with tanks? I don't want to go to Germany. It's only for a little while. I think. I don't want to be a hostage. Calm down. Let's have some tea. Oh, right. I'll I'll come down. Um, I think I might be stuck, actually. Berries. They grow all over the Garden District, don't they? I guess I can eat these till I run across a pub.
So, the sergeant says, I didn't see you at camouflage training. So, I says, Thanks. Just pretend it is beef. Please don't Bastard. make it fast. to the train station. We sent them off to Germany because of papier-mâché. office. to do this. Until his sergeant can vouch for him. If he runs, kill him. 
Piano music, eh? Maybe I should have a read and play it. Well, aren't I clever clogs? A hatch. If it leads underground like the others, I can use it to get out of here once I'm done. On guard duty. Ah. Give it up. They're here. They're back. Uh. 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 We're under attack. Go back to Germany, you silly. Uh.
Here goes. Attention all personnel. Oh, for fuck's sake, Ollie. Day the he knew it was a lie, didn't he? I bet he bloody knew. How do I get out of here? I'm not going to be able to jump over the fence from this side. I've got to get back to the general's secret hatch. That's my way out. Fucking glue. Right. Now if I can make it back to Ollie alive, he'll help me get out of town. Assuming that wasn't another lie, that won't be an awkward conversation at all, will it?
Pace yourself, Arthur. doing this. <sighs> Did we say cook us a plate of shite tasting grub? No. We told I could probably you come in the way I got out in the back of the station. My God, they've kidnapped some poor woman. I could be a real hero and rescue her. Or get myself killed. <laughs> 